five rare traits that make a guy fall for you. Your trust levels may be low and it will hinder your future relationships because you may be hesitant to form meaningful connections which will have a lasting and destructive impact on your future relationships. It can cause you to become insecure, doubtful and withdrawn where you're unsociable and not wanting to communicate where you prefer to be alone and take little interest in other people which will make it difficult for you to find a good man because that's what men want they want a woman who makes an effort which leads me to the first trait that will make a guy fall for you one Conscientiousness. This is a quality of wishing to do your work well and thoroughly, of being careful and diligent, of being constant in effort to accomplish something. Because if there's one thing men care about, it's status. They care about their social and professional standing. They care about their position in relation to other people. That's why men do everything they do. It's why they buy a big house. It's why they drive a fast car. It's why they go to the gym. It's why they want a better job. It's why they want more money. It's why they want respect. It all comes down to status. Which is why if you want a guy to fall for you, you need to give him status. You need to improve his social and professional position in the world. And you can do that for your physical appearance. You can do that by being beautiful. But you can also do it by taking care of your man by cooking him dinner and showing him respect because that shows conscientiousness and it gives him status it makes him look important to other people so that is the type of girl a man is not going to want to lose because it makes him look good and men want to look good They don't want to be with someone who makes them look bad. So if you're trying to make a high value man fall for you, it's not all about sex. In fact, many high value men will feel disgusted to even talk about sex with a girl they've just met. Because in their minds, you shouldn't even know too much about sex. You should be morally good and pure because that makes them look good. It gives them status. Two, loyalty. Men want a woman who is loyal. A woman who is exclusive. A woman who no one else can get. A woman who is restricted only to them. Because that gives them status. It makes them look good. It makes them feel important. So you need to be very careful with your interactions with other men. Before you do something, you need to think about if it's going to make your man look better or look worse. Because men want women who don't want to stay out late without them. Women who other men can't have. Because it shows that he is respected by his woman. Three, openness to experience. 
a high value man wants you to experience things and see things through him. But for that to happen, you need to be inexperienced. You need to have little knowledge and experience of particular things that he's interested in. You wouldn't want to give someone a Christmas present if they had already been given 10 presents that were better than yours because you know they're not going to be able to experience it. Which is why the most attractive woman to a man is not one who is sexually experienced or one who has sat in a Bentley or a Rolls Royce or one who has been on a private jet. They may want to have sex with a woman like that but they're not going to fall in love with her. They would rather be with a woman who is shy and inexperienced, a woman who hasn't experienced too much. Because then they can give her those experiences. They can lead, they can show her things, and it will be special. It will mean something. Because the woman is likely to be more open-minded and accepting. She's likely to be more curious, creative and imaginative. Four. Agreeableness. Men want women who share their values. A woman who they can educate. A woman who they can show things to. A woman who will agree with them. Because they want to be a role model to their woman. They want to be admired and respected by you. They want to be a person you look to as an example to be emulated. But if a woman has too much experience in life, it's difficult for a man to be a role model. It's difficult for them to be someone who a woman will look up to. Because those kinds of women may have made up their minds already. They may think that they already know everything they need to know. Which is why a level of purity goes hand in hand with agreeableness. Because that is what makes a man want to protect you. It's what makes them be good men. A man would die for his woman if she is loyal and exclusive to him because he knows that is his duty and responsibility as a man if his woman has fulfilled her responsibilities as a woman. But if he is looking at your Facebook and Instagram and he sees that there is nothing new he can bring to your life, he's not going to feel that same way about you. Because he knows that any experience he has with you isn't going to be special. Which is why men prefer women who haven't had too many experiences or traumas. Women who haven't done too many things. Women who don't know too much about life. Because he wants to lead. He wants to teach you what is right and what is wrong. He wants you to experience life through him. And this is just our natural biological design. Because women are naturally attracted to experienced men. They're attracted to men who have already done and accomplished everything. But those same experiences for a woman would not be respected by a man. Because no man wants to come along knowing that he is second place. Knowing that what he's bringing to the table is not going to be valued or appreciated. It will hurt his self-esteem. It will make him feel unimportant. It will kill him inside. It will break his heart to know that you've already experienced everything with someone else because then he knows he's not going to be anything special to you. 
but that's what men want. They want status. They want to be important. They want to look good to other people. Five, submission. A lot of men work hard. They deal with a lot of stress. They manage businesses. So when they come home, they need positive energy. They need sunshine in the rain. They need love that shines through. Even when the world outside seems dark and lonely, they don't want to come home to opposition or disagreements. They won't even have the energy to fight. And this ties into agreeableness. Because men don't want to fight over which is the best car or the best sports team. They want a woman who has empathy. A woman who can share their perspective and experience. A woman who is on their side. A woman who is in their corner. So if he wants to show you his new ride and you want him to fall for you, that's not going to happen if you say you like a different colour or if you say you prefer a Mercedes. Because the first thing he's going to be thinking is who picked you up in a Mercedes? How do you know about those cars? And that's not going to win his heart. That's not going to make him like you. It may seem like a small thing, but these things add up to create the dynamic in the relationship. Men want women who are agreeable and submissive. Women who can absorb their views of the world. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.